Before the video gets started, guys, I want to remind you to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. I try to respond to as many as I can, which is not hard because there's not too many. So you should definitely comment. Also, if you're on BitChute, leave a comment. Leave a like. You can still do that on BitChute, everyone. I know no one likes to do it, but you can still do that on BitChute as well. All right, let's get into the video. We're going to get a little rain tonight. That's for sure. I don't like working in the mud. It is the next day. I don't think we got a ton of rain, but we did get a little bit. We are adding more calves into this barn from our auto feed barn right here. So we're taking 18 out of there putting them on this younger side and then we move them down the barn as they get older. So Seth, JB, Chelsea are going to be doing that and I am going to hop on a skid steer push feed up if that hasn't been done yet or I'll go bring up some more bales. All right it looks like they have moved those calves into the weaning barn. Now I got Seth loading me up bed the front half of that calf barn we got it so we can swing them on either half i don't know it's kind of hard to explain but we've got them in the back he's cleaning the front out he'll put sawdust in me and i'll go bed them up and then we'll swing them on the side that's cleaned out and bedded and then we will clean the back side bed the back side and a bunch of other stuff really 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 muddy today that's why I'm that's why I'm up on here. Usually we park there. So you can see this is raised up quite a bit so that this is almost level with the ground, but All right. We're full. There's John over there getting me dirty mix because I just forgot to tell him yesterday, so I told him today. Yeah, because I'm I'm a terrible co-worker. I'm so forgetful lately, and I'm forgetting very simple things. Back to the skids deer. Spaces, otherwise it'll just get on the ground and it'll get dirty and they won't eat it. So we just want to push it up just enough 
to where they can eat as much as they want, but it won't go over and into the pen because that's wasteful. Hey. Come on. All right, these guys are all swung around. We'll uh, get them cleaned out and then we'll get that feed in here. big box if you couldn't tell i'm not really too involved in that i'm around when we cover the pile i'm running the skids deer uh you know and helping unroll the plastic and all that stuff but the chopping not too involved i'm pretty busy here most of the time a little bit of a tight squeeze but i got the skills we want to keep it at a low RPM so we don't fling sawdust up into the manger. Alright, these guys are all bedded up now. They have dirty mix in front of them all the way down to where they need it. It's too narrow in here to fit a skids deer in between the drinkers and the six by sixes. So we can't drive in here to bring feet in. So we have to put them in the back, come through the front and dump it over the side. A little inefficient, a little uh, slow. It takes a while, but it's what we got to do. And it kind of works because we got to get in here about twice a week to clean this front out anyway so and these drinkers see so you have a drain hole so you got to take this top off and there's a plug in the bottom and it drains these out and out the side but what happens is that those drain tubes are made out of plastic and we get mice and rats in there they chew it to pieces so when you drain it the water goes straight down into the six inch or eight inch pvc tube that takes the water line and the electrical to the main line that runs underneath here to the main room so what's happened is that those drains get chewed out the mice get in chew the wiring apart and so the heater cores underneath these drinkers fry and so you have drinkers that aren't heated in the winter so they freeze when it gets below about 10 degrees 15 10 degrees and so the goal is to get these replaced before winter because we were i mean if it was zero or negative 20 negative 30 some days we were spending five man hours just getting these drinkers going and it's just it's undoable it's an unwieldy task and it just takes way too much time so hopefully we'll get some type of drinker in this barn before the snow flies that will make life a lot easier for us Baby. Seth is bringing up bales for fresh pens, so we'll get these guys swung around and meet him over there. These are the 18 little calves that came in. Oh, there he is. Bringing up bales. Hello. You go, girl. You're a little heifer. You're a nice little heifer. Got a little baby. Mama is 63, 62. So we'll write down her information and get her in the warming room. She stays nice and toasty warm because it's kind of chilly today. Come on, girls. 63, 62. Born uh, probably like 15 minutes ago. So, AM, day. 10, 2, bull or a heifer, I don't know, born alive, and you are a little heifer, 
H for heifer. I'll text Nicole and let her know that there is a new calf in here. Seth is bedding and we're waiting to put another bale in. Hello America, this is the Dave Ramsey Show where dead is done, cash is king and the paid off home mortgage has taken the place of BMW as a status symbol. It's nice to have a door on a skid steer. Since we got the front open anyways. Crystal clear water. Now you're all wet. Don't know if that was a good idea. All right, got a wagon and Seth's bale spears. We brought them here when we wrapped all those bales. We're gonna go get a couple square straw bales to bed the uh, warming rooms with. We'll head back down the road and pick up Seth from his place. All right, we are home. So we'll take them, get them off, put them underneath a lean-to. So that warming room and that warming room will have straw now instead of sawdust because it's getting colder at night. And they're called warming rooms for a reason. So we'll get nice bedding over there for Nicole. She asked me last week, so I'm finally getting to it. Let's get them unloaded. watching everyone here again to remind you to like subscribe leave a comment also if you're on bit shoot do the same thing because you can subscribe all that good stuff um my society six art link is in the description along with my instagram and patreon you guys can join those if you would like more videos coming soon i got a couple art ones that i want to do so you should stick around turn on notifications also that all right guys that's it for me i'll catch you on the next one